Hey everyone, I'm Brian, I'm 26. Today we're gonna to talk about health in your 20s. Uh, for the record, I have been in my 20s for six years and I've gone through a somewhat of an up and down of health during my 20s, so relatively qualified to talk about this. Brutally honest thoughts covering health in, in your 20s. Very important topic, I would almost say the most important topic, uh, probably second to none. Uh, in my mid-20 phase in the past year, probably the most unhealthiest I've ever been. Growing up, been overall a pretty healthy child. Being Asian, there was a bit of lactose intolerance. I have allergies within my family, not very good with fruit, have cold allergies, but outside of that, never really had issues. Got kind of fat during college, but lost that really quickly. Never obsessively drank alcohol, didn't smoke cigarettes, never really broke anything. And then I heard 26, I turned uh, relatively old, and then all things started breaking loose. And of course, right when my parents' insurance started wearing off, I dislocated my shoulder, I started having back problems, which I had for quite some time, but at severe rates now. I gained a little bit of weight because my metabolism slowing down, and I felt poor as my cholesterol went a little bit up during my yearly checkup, which always wore flying colors perfectly. I could tell my skin was getting worse. My hair is still pretty redundant, but uh, it's a little bit less uh, in the sense that I've seen it fall out a little bit. My eyesight certainly very bad. Uh, I, I'm very bad at seeing far apart. And there's a bit of, I forget the word, but light kind of glitters apart when I see it from uh, far away. And overall, when I eat very late at night, the recovery is not as fast in the morning. And if I walk for a very, very long time, my back starts hurting a lot and my overall energy level very low. That's really all to say, when you turn 26 as a male, which I think should be your peak, but if you don't really take care of yourself, which in my case, I think I've been eating very poorly and working a lot and sitting in this chair for hours on end, the end result is not that great. So that's kind of where I am in terms of health. Uh, relatively okay, no severe surgeries, nothing uh, overly, dramatic in terms of life or death, but also not fantastic. Which brings me to my next point about people around me. Uh, I have uh, all sorts of people around me who range from only eat chicken breasts and have a 12 pack on their body, all the way to probably should go outside for a walk every now and then because they're about to not be able to see their toes. Um, all of those sorts of folks, this is probably not very helpful, but I've seen relatively non-correlated results. As in, I've seen fit people actually have weird health problems and I've seen, let's just call them fat people, uh, be relatively okay. And I'm sure the end end result will be a little different and those that are taking care of themselves now will actually see that benefit later on. But in the short term at least, in, in your 20s, I feel like the genetic makeup and the genetic blessings of being 20 pays off and you are relatively okay for now. So just because you're exhibiting healthy habits does not really mean that you're overall healthy. I've seen really off cases of people that are super healthy and getting all these weird illnesses and diseases that they probably shouldn't be getting. And on the flip side, people that haven't taken a walk for the past three years seem relatively okay. But end result, unsure. Secondly, most importantly, I've seen food definitely be the number one effector of all this. I think healthy, being, uh, being healthy, working out, very important. But those around me that are the most healthiest overall eat very well. They eat their salads, they have that well balanced, they don't eat past a certain time, they don't drink alcohol excessively, they drink a lot of water, they eat what their moms tell them to eat, and they don't go out to eat too much, they do a lot of grocery shopping. Shout outs to all those people, they not only save money, but they save their life longer term. Something that I'm definitely bad at as I've been eating out a lot, I think the essence of when you start your 20s is very important. I started my 20s in investment banking where there wouldn't be time to eat and there's a lot of expense meals that you wanna use because you wanna you know, say screw you to the company and use the company's money or the client's money to uh, your disposal, which means that from very early on in my career, I got very used to delivery food and spending money on food externally instead of cooking and having the time to do so. Being in crypto certainly does not help, but make sure that your health is number one priority and food aligns that way by eating three times a day or intermittent fasting if that's your boat, whatever you wanna do, but making sure that you have that balanced meal. I can't stress enough for those around me in my 20s and my friends in my 20s that eat well, 
do well. Uh, it's without effect. Working out, I think, is also very important, but that also creeps away. I think it's just overall being a bit of active in your life, whether it be walking, rock climbing, actually going to the gym, um, even golf to a certain degree, which gets you to walk sometimes. Having fitness activity is quite important, but I would stress and highlight that food is by far the most important uh, of the thing that continue to affect uh, people, at least around me. So that brings me to my next point about what I have been aiming to do a lot personally based on my health defects or the issues that I've been having. So one, clearly not flexible. Easy shoulder dislocation, back hurts, neck hurts. I've been doing this a lot when I'm working. So I've been stretching a lot. I used to fade stretching for a very long time when people were like, you need to stretch. Yoga, Pilates, these are great things. And I just went, that's for college girls. Uh, stretching, very important. So do these, do these. Do the whole array of things that your mom yells at you about and sends you TikToks for. The stretching is very important. You gotta be nimble and dynamic so that in cases of high stress or high impact, you're able to withstand those things and not break under pressure. So stretching, number one, I stressed out enough about eating, but making sure that you eat that balanced meal and not depending too much on fried things and eating out a lot. A lot of these common sense things actually do have that multiplier effect. These are more specifics, but for eyes, I think it's mostly genetic. I've had a lot of people uh, benefit from getting LASIK or these new smart something uh, in New York. I highly recommend that. I'm actually planning to get that this year. I think that probably help with my eyes. Uh, it's really struggling to put contacts and wear glasses all the time. But on top of that, I think uh, having eye checkups to make sure that your eyes are healthy, very important. On top of that, brush your teeth. I'm actually very proud of my teeth. I brush them quite a bit. I get regular checkups, but I've seen plenty of people that have not been brushing teeth, have not getting checkups, make sure, uh, especially if you have uh, insurance, really no excuse. Teeth health, I've heard, is crucial in your 20s, um, along with your back health, uh, especially for men. So make sure to get that teeth lightened up. Um, and then lastly, uh, for me, mental health, very, 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 very important. Um, I've been really trying to not overthink things, to not overly rehearse the future because it's going to happen anyways, to not overstress about things I can't control, making sure that I have accountability systems to um, check myself and make sure that I'm doing well and making sure that I am sticking to my principles, but also being open to new ideas and having venues to really get out there and explore ways to remedy such stresses. I've been drawing a lot recently. I've been reading books a lot recently, trying to get off the computer and off social media as it is a pretty big part of my life. Um, and seeing a wide variety of people so that I don't get stuck in this one lane mentality, which often leads to mental health issues. So that goes to my conclusion of telling you if you are someone that is about to enter your 20s, or especially if you're early 20s but not haven't hit the crux and the meat of the mid to late 20s where it really starts affecting your health, everything that you do right now is going to directly affect later. My back has been hurting for the past five, six years, and it's probably not going to go anything back or better. Make sure you're getting the stretches and the physical therapy and the exercises that you want, strong core, strong back. You already know all the things that you've been hearing over and over again if you're resourceful enough or have people that have experienced similar things. Make this video a warning, serve, make it serve as a warning for you to really double down on your health because at the end of the day, that's literally the only thing that matters. If you are dead or if you feel like you wanna die because everything hurts so much, there is no point to life. So before that happens, before your metabolism sorts down, before you become less healthy, before you're no longer the 18 year old kid that is flying around without getting hurt or without being de-energized, make sure you double down and invest into your health. You can crux down on your S&P 500, you can do everything about your retirement fund, but the point is to have the life to enjoy your retirement fund. There's no point in a retirement fund if you're not retiring with a fully functioning body. So again, I can't highlight enough as someone who has had a downslope, a roller coaster of a health issue filled year for the past year, Double down so that you could cash out well in your 20s and then further on. That was a blubber of information and my thoughts on health in your 20s, just so that I can prepare well for my 30s. If you're in your 20s now and uh, can relate, let me know in the comments below. If you're about to enter your 20s, I'm not trying to scare you, but I am trying to scare you. So wake up. I will see you guys next time. Let's go.